anyone who is wondering why I'm filming and driving, I'm not. My phone is on the freaking stand, right? Just don't worry. I'm not holding my phone and driving. But I started this video because holy crap. Okay, I was going to stand for a second. Look at that. It's a lot of snow. It happened like the last like 30 seconds. 30 seconds it looks like this. Wow. And we can't see all the shadowing here on the... Uh, all the shadowing here on the, oh, I was trying to uh, change here. All right, all the shadowing under these little street lights, that, that's snow. That's like the shadow off the snow. And as you can see, the ground is pretty much covered in the past like a couple of minutes. It is very snowy out. I'm scared, my tires are not only summer tires, but they are also very, very, I'm already feeling it. I'm already feeling it, they're all shit. Oh shit. Uh, I hope I can, yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. Anyway, as you can see, this is very, 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 you know, it smells coming, yeah, so you can hear my ABS going off right now. Honestly, pulling over here, I'm turning. These roads are pretty, hear that? ABS, me sliding here. Pretty gnarly, these roads are very wet. And, uh, yep, look at that. Oh, oh, getting a little squirrely there. Wow. And that, that, ladies and gentlemen, that is why driving in FRS in the snow can be a little scary. Look at that, wow. Lots of snow coming down. Ah, but as you can see, my thing is kind of broken here. It's not serving me super well, but hey, it's all right, it's working a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's how bad it is here in Utah right now. Wow, that's a lot of snow out of like nowhere. I'm happy I'm a skier, but like, I'm just trying to have a little cruise coming home from my buddy's house. Yeah, for us. Look at all that snow. Wow, this popped out of nowhere. It's been like a couple minutes and it's gotten very snowy. Very, very, very snowy. I'm going like 30 in this road. It's because my tires, oh, backstory, my tires are very bald and they're not dedicated winter tires. They're not summer tires. They're all season, but they're not dedicated winter tires. And this is a very scary car to be driving right now just because of the type of tires I've got kind of weather we're looking at right now. It's kind of scary, honestly. Wow. Blizzard out of nowhere. By the way, it's almost March. This is uh, some pretty gnarly weather, if you're asking. This guy wants me to move faster, but I'm just kind of afraid to, you know? This is very, very scary. It's very scary to be driving in cops right there. If they pull me over, I'm going to be very sad, but it is what it is. I'm just going slow because I just want to get home, you know? You know, I just want to get home. This is pretty scary. Scary uh, weather here. Luckily, we got a green light here. I'm going to try and slow down as much as possible coming through here. Oh, oh, already feel the front end right now. See, my front tires are very bald right now because, uh, because drifting, you know, someone was drifting in my car a lot. It wasn't me, I promise. But yeah, we swapped the front tires for the rear tires. And that happens. So the front end, it's a weird sensation because the rear end usually is where it kicks out on you. The front end, because I ain't got a good tread in my front end, kind of likes to kick out on me a little easier. So I can kind of feel my front end going like this while driving. It's a little scary. So I'm driving 
hear that, man? I'm barely touching the brakes, and it's just not wanting to do anything for me here. All right, traction control off. FRS Spears the 86 are a little weird. The traction control doesn't actually fully turn off, so I don't know how good it's going to let me slide it. I am going to give it a little side three. I hope I don't freaking lose it, you know? I might. Oh, that's, okay, that's something I wasn't expecting. Wow. So, not unless I give it a ton of gas, it doesn't even turn into a drift for me here. Because my front, okay, there we go, a little bit there. But yeah, that's kind of what it looks like when your front tires are more bald than your rear tires in a rear-wheel drive car, but especially in my opinion. FRX. Just kind of like not amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Barely touched my brake at all. And I'm just sliding out into the road. By the way, this is my, this is, you know, one of my first times driving this car in the snow like this. And it, I mean, this is rough. Look at, Look at that. Barely touching it. Hey, actually, I held, I held pretty well there. Wow, I'm sucking the manual right now, too. I think it's just because I'm nervous. Look at that. Wow, because it came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. And it's really sticking right now. It is about, it's a little past the uh, And it's northern Utah, so it's not like I'm surprised that we're getting snow. But it is also almost March. Uh, and my birthday is March 1st, so I'd say I remember. You know, the beginning of March pretty well the year. I remember at least. And I don't I don't think I've ever seen snow like this at the beginning of March. I'll turn on my right in a second. If you can't see that here, I'll move my steering wheel a little bit. That's what somebody else's rooftop of their house looks like. Pretty, pretty snowy out here right now. Yeah, that's just kinda you know, I decided to turn on my camera in part because you know I have a video of me crashing and it's not my fault, right? I wasn't doing anything crazy or stupid because it's snowy out, right? Uh, another part just because it's pretty gnarly, you know? One of my first time is driving this car out there. If if you're worried about like, oh, can I can I drive my FRS BRZ86? It, can, can you drive it in the snow? The answer is yes. I think you can drive it in the snow. I think this can still be your daily driver in the snow just fine. Um, I, I think I think these do just fine in the snow for daily driving purposes, but like, man, that is that is that is gnarly snow for oh, you can't really see. Damn. Uh, hold on, let me let me step out out me car for a second. If my car doesn't slide back, I I actually parked my Tacoma once in the snow, and the snow is pretty pretty deep and everything out here, and. It wasn't parked on the side. It's a little bit steeper over here on our driveway, but it legit just slid down our driveway through here. So that's a little scary and all, but <laughs> I mean, this is this is March, and I, not in the recent years have we ever really seen snow like like this. You know, right before March, like I think this is pretty crazy snow in my opinion. But hey, even though my tires on this car are pretty bald in the front, the rears are all right. Rears, the rears have got like halfway through my fingernail, probably almost to the top of my fingernail. So the rears are all right, but the fronts, man, the fronts are not doing all right. These are pretty freaking bald. I mean, there's no fingernail coverage on that one at all. And that's how my fronts are. And so, <laughs> is it time for me to get new tires? I think, I think so. Or is it maybe just time for me to get new wheels and tires? That's another good question. But yeah, that's that's uh, that's that's snow driving in the FRS right here, babies. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you think you can, you can, but get tires. Tires are key in this car for winter driving.